What is up, my fellow Arkham? It's me, Going Game 3, and welcome back to Bubba's Diner. So, it's been a couple of days since I've continued this game, but a lot's happened. I've been kind of lazy during the weekend, but nonetheless, I'm back to record this game once again. Um, we're going to continue from where we left off, and we're going to beat Night 4 and 5 for this episode. Uh, Paradox Life is a lie. <laughs> oh, this is a lie, sorry. <laughs> Hello, Clark. Glad to see you back again. Good job yesterday. Mr. Yay. Gules appears to be working well now. Alright. And wow, news. Someone clogged the toilet again. <laughs> so we checked the cameras, and we've seen a child going in the bathroom with a toy and coming out without it. We know who he is. Now we just have to wait until he comes back. <sighs> Can't believe I'll have to work as toilet guard. <laughs> At least I'm not working as toilet and clogger, right? <sighs> That's you. Well, I don't think you've seen the basement yet, have you? No. We put all the old stuff from the old location down there. Little arcade machines, music boxes, and... That thing. WHAT?! If you feel uncomfortable about it, it's okay. We all understand that you may have some post-traumatic disorder or sudden panic attacks. So we don't blame you if you don't go down Um... So your tasks are... Unclog the toilet, clean up party room number one, and, if you think you're able to, go to the basement. That's it for tonight. No tap, no, no printing stuff? Okay then, unclogged toilet then. What's gonna be different here? I'm genuinely curious actually. Apparently I'm, I don't have to do the papers, which is kind of surprising actually. I wonder how hard this, how much harder this is gonna be actually. Oh, hi there. You know, I thought that there was a method that I could just use where I just slowly unclog the toilet and make sure that the noise level doesn't go above just like one streak. But no, he's here. Okay, there he's gone. Alright, we unclogged the animatronic again. So, alright. So apparently we gotta clean up party room one, and we have to go to the basement, so I guess... Uh, party room one. Okay. There's an animatronic in there, I know for a fact. What do we need to do, though? Uh... Last place, use flash <laughs> Oh, I need to use I need to use this space when animatronic is not there. I mean, when it is there. So, can I just tell by looking at the eyes? I was not ready for that. You know that, right? So, space bar. Wait, what? Okay, then. All right. There's even sound cues. That's what I want. Ah! Oh, I thought I heard something. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, all right. We're done. Alright, so we cleaned up party room one. So, basement is next. So, what do we have to do there? Basement, okay. Because this is on. Oh, I'll use. Uh. Who would say, after all this time, after what? everything you've done, you'd return? Do you still have nightmares, Clark? Because I do. I am living in one. Oh, I don't like this. A blind, being guided by silent whispers, I can faintly hear. I'm trapped in something I cannot escape. But that was enough. You're here, back again. After all, you never did listen to my calls. I warned you, and you ignored me. Uh. Can you get used to this? I'm sure you can't, but the only way out, for me, is through you. So I guess I won't fade away until you do. So hello, and goodbye. Oh, I don't like this, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I am so freaked out right now. If I see an animatronic... Uh, was I supposed to? F uh, I heard on the right, so I was supposed to go with the right. Right. Ah, uh, what? What am I supposed to do? So obviously, I hear heard him from the left. I believe so. It would just have to go to the left. I need to pay very close attention to where he actually moves, 
But at the same time, I need to not move the wrong direction, otherwise he's gonna kill me. So I'm gonna challenge myself to not use the mouse at all because the uh, A and D keys are much easier to use. I need to figure this out. Okay, that worked. Get out of here, boy. What, what the heck was he doing there? Was he leaning up against that? I don't know. Oh, I did it! I did it, guys, yes! A dead body found at a local restaurant. An employee was found dead inside an animatronic costume on Monday morning. Uh. A police closed the restaurant immediate, <laughs> indefinitely. When asked about details, Andrew Callahan, a cop for 20 years, said, we, will in, we, will, we were unsure about what may have caused the death. I believe that's the question for our investigators to clarify later. We can tell we do not su suspect murdering Bubba's Diner will be closed until the investigations end. We were able to interview her clerk owner of the restaurant. Only time we tell. Um... Okay. <laughs> See, obviously that was Bub Trap. Very interesting. Uh, let me just change the screen because apparently this game goes back into an, uh, full screen mode whenever you go back into the menu. Did you know that this loading screen is merely decorative? You can be playing the game while you read this. Really? Hello, Clark. Alright. Well, What's we're next? sorry for what happened last night. But thank you for your courage. Oh, well, this time. I joking, died. I caught the toilet clogger. It was an eight-year-old boy. We banished him from the bathrooms. <laughs> that sounded more exciting in my head. However, oh. this doesn't mean your job is over. I know. Today, you have to clean up party room one and fix the breaker. All right. Yes, we had some trouble with the electricity today, and we think it's probably some defect with the breaker. Thank you for your first week of work well done, and have a good weekend. Is that it? Do I just have to clean up the party room and then fix the breaker room? Okay, then. Let's do it then. Why not? Two thousand years later. There we go. Did it. Alright, now as for the breaker room, is it in the basement? I don't. Oh, I don't want to go back into the basement. Or okay, I don't think it's in here. No, it's not in here. Is it in the basement again? I don't want to go back in there. Ah, I guess it is. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Uh. You won't get away this time. What? I'm sorry, what? Game over. Alright, so that was not a scripted thing. What do I do this time? Is there something I need to do? You won't get Wait. away this time. What is happening? Oh, what is happening? I opened it and closed the door. Oh, I'm getting into my car now? My heart's still beating. So I shot the animatronic. <laughs> that was awesome. Where did you get the gun, though? That's a great question. Ugh, I got chills. Are still beating. Did the animatronic follow me? I wonder. Shooting at local restaurants. An employee at Bubba's Diner brutally damaged the an an animated mascots with a shotgun during the night shift. Edward Clark, old owner of the old Bubba's Diner, worked as a Bubba for about a week. Bubba, but for Bubba, shooting at oh. Edward Clark. So that's the person who worked there. That was this week. He only got $525. That's not the best. That's base. Oh. That was it? Well. Big shout out to Games Freaky for making that amazing game. Based on Five Nights at Freddy's by Scott Cawthon. I doubt that there's like a night six or a custom night, but we have extras. So, we're gonna see. Alright. We got characters. Which includes Bubba. Uh, Pork Patch. Mr. Giggles. Uh, I forget. I don't know who this guy is. And we got Bub Trap. 
Um, that's about it. Deleted content. So this, I imagine, is like the old part of the restaurant. Um, this really went through a lot of updates, that's for sure. Um, that's another prototype of it. I guess it didn't look realistic for it to be a restaurant, but, uh, we got that. We got the animatronics on stage. The old model of Bubba and Pork Patch. They look a lot different than they do in the real, in the real game. Um, old office. And, uh, that's it. That's all there is to this game. I'm pretty sure I've beaten the entire game in its entirety. That is it for Bubba's Diner. That was a really cool fan game. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. That is it for the series, though. Um, if, if the developer plans on, like, making DLC or a Night 6 or a custom night, then that'll be pretty cool to look forward to. I think that might be the end of the series, though. But nonetheless, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on a new video. I also have a Twitter, an Instagram page, as well as a Discord server you can join. And an Ask FM page. And if you're hungry for more Gorn Games Breathe, then check out my other videos.